Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Empress Real 1584, The Good Witch. If this is your first time visiting me, I would like to thank you. If you are returning, welcome back. While you are here, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. By taking this action, it will help me to grow. Also, take a moment to read my about page on my YouTube channel platform so that you can have some understanding of who I am. To everyone that has gone over to my YouTube channel already and subscribed to me, I thank you and I am truly grateful. I appreciate every single one of you. When I hit 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube platform, I'm going to put everyone's name in a basket. And I mean literally a basket. And I'm going to pick three names, three people that I'm going to give a free reading to. And we're going to do one-on-one -on -one between you and I. I'm not going to record like some readers. We're going to be intimate with one another. So we're going to do one-on-one -on -one FaceTiming each other. Also, for my TikTok followers, same thing. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, followers, I will be picking three names out of the basket. And once I hit 1,000 followers, I will do three free readings for three followers. You can enter on the YouTube platform and also here on the TikTok platform. We have Aries. Today, I will be doing an Aries reading. I Once again, I just want to thank every one of you. I'm truly grateful. I humble myself to you. I am truly grateful to all of you for taking the time to view my videos, for hitting the follow button, for hitting the heart. I am truly grateful to each and every one of you. If you leave a comment, I answer my own comments. I always try to encourage everyone to share his or her story because you never know if your story can be a helpmate to someone else. Spirit guys, this message is for the sign of Aries, male or female. Please help me to deliver the most accurate message that I possibly can with your help. I thank you. Spirit guys, please help me to deliver the most accurate message for the sign of Aries. Please help me to deliver the most accurate information that I possibly can for the sign of Aries. What information can you give to me? Thank you. Thank you. I'm truly grateful. What information can you give to me for the sign of Aries? What information can you give to me for the sign of Aries? Three more cards, please. Three more cards. What information can you give to me for the sign of Aries? Three more cards. Three more cards. Two more cards. Two more cards, please. Two more cards, spirit guys. Help me to deliver the most accurate message that I possibly can for someone who needs to hear it at this moment. We're starting off with the Queen of Cups. We're starting off with the Queen of Cups, Aries. Aries, you are exhibiting the Queen of Cups behavior. 
You're loving at this present time. You're very stable. You're going with the flow. And you're being very caring. That's where your heart is at this present time. That's where your soul is at this present time. We have the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands, once again, like the Queen of Cups, is stable. The Four of Wands is stability, celebration, excitement. You are very excited about something. You're celebrating a journey. And you're very excited about the decisions that you have made for yourself. We have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is abundance. So whatever you're doing at this present time will bring in a lot of abundance. Abundance does not necessarily mean financial abundance, although it could mean that, but abundance as far as your happiness, your growth, your love that you have, that you share with others, your abundance is your stability because right now you're being very disciplined on your thoughts and you're very self-reliant. You don't want to depend on anyone. And we have the star showing up for you. That's number 17. When the star shows up, Aries, make a wish. Believe in that wish. Trust that wish. Have faith in that wish. Because somewhere in your life, you need healing. Healing about another person, about a certain situation. You need healing. Make a wish. We have the King of Wands. When the King of Wands shows up, Aries, that's the leader. And that's who you are. You are a leader. This is someone that's an entrepreneur as well. So you may be thinking about starting your own business now or in the future. This is a person of high honor as well. So Aries, you have a lot of leader potential. We also have the Eight of Wands that showed up next to the King of Wands and that's communication. So someone is going to be communicating with you about something. And however, with this communication will bring a rapid change in your situation. We also have the four of pentacles. And that's possessiveness and control. You're trying to control your outcome of a situation. It's not something for you to do. You already know how you feel about a certain situation. Let it ride and let the universe handle it for you. Because you being possessive, because this falls under your side. Because this is you. This is the divine. Your spirit guides universe, source. This is the other entity, person, place, or thing. However, the four of pentacles is possessiveness and control. And you're trying to control the outcome about something. But you can't control the situation. It's going to be whatever it's going to be. We also have the page of cups. And when the page of cups shows up, that's news about love. That's someone that's a hopeless romantic because as we all know, Aries, you hate to be alone. Aries need to be with someone. That's what they think. So you may hop from one relationship to the next to the next, not really thinking about what you really truly want because you hate to be alone. However, the Page of Cups is love news, a message about love. This is someone that's a hopeless romantic because we all know Aries that you are a hopeless romantic. That's why you're with 
this person. When that fails, then you're with this person. That fails, then you're with this person because you are afraid to be alone. We have Twin Flame. And when the Twin Flame shows up, that's divinity. That's ascension. That's the soul. This is a soul connection. You may possibly be with your twin flame. And if you are, you would know. However, some of you will be meeting your twin flame. And when you meet that person, you will know instantly. Because there's a difference between a soulmate and also a twin flame. I'm not going to get into that with this reading. However, I did put up a video showing you the difference between a soulmate and also a twin flame. We have justice. In your situation, this is the Libra card. This is the number 11. This is cause and effects balance. This is karmic justice. There's a situation that you need to handle. And when you handle that situation, the scales will be balanced. There's going to be equal give and take in the matter. However, you want justice and fairness. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. That's triumph. That's public recognition. That's pride. You have a lot of pride, Aries. However, there's something that you want to be victorious about. You want public recognition, right? Because some Aries, when they do something, they want people to say, you did a good job, right? But you can't look for public recognition within people. You have to look at that within yourself. As long as you know how well you're doing. If somebody doesn't acknowledge that, it's okay. However, I'm Empress Real 1584, The Good Witch. Let's begin healing together. <laughs> 